so hi everyone today we are back with another exciting tutorial on an 8 and ai agents and this time i'm trying to automate my entire social media using n810 so this is a crazy workflow that i have developed which has been developed without paying a single penny completely free runs on local llms and is able to automate your social media so for now on the demonstration i am using x twitter account as well as gmail so what i would be doing here giving you a brief what i should be doing here is i have had a set of seven prompts that would be picked up randomly and depending upon the condition that i'm pasting here in the if statement of n8n it this particular workflow would be running in loops and then posting continuously on my social media depending upon the wait time that i have given so like for example if you wish to post after every 30 minutes you can make it 30 into 60 seconds here or you can even change this dimension here and after every 30 minutes n8n would be posting on your behalf on your social media so for now i have used gmail account and x so on x the ai would be posting on my behalf and on my gmail it would be dropping out mails this can be a crazy tool for creating an ai's new letter as well as uh, to maintain your social media so before we jump on to the details let me run this command let's run this workflow so as you can see i started executing the workflow the loop has gone into the ai agent i would be explaining you all the parts in detail so don't worry about it but first of all let's see how it flows so this is a manually triggered workflow as you can see here when clicking text workflow so it is not inputting anything the next part is going to a code section so within the code section i have added seven prompts summarize the latest ai articles from this week tell me an ai theme joke what are the latest lm release per today's date what are trending github repositories and something else so every time the loop runs in it takes up a random prompt and then it goes to the if else condition so within the if else conditions if you see I'm using a variable called as run index. So it is keeping the count of the total number of loops that has been executed. For demonstration purpose in this video, I've kept it for two, but you can keep it at a very high number for automated posting. Rest of the section, I think I've already explained in my previous video on NA10. This is a AI agent which uses Olama, the local LLM. SERP API. SERP API is basically used for internet access. So it can search the internet and date time to fetch out the latest news. So whatever prompt goes in, depending upon the prompt that is going in, if it requires internet, it would be using the SERP API, else not. And then once whatever output comes in, it goes to Gmail and X account. So let me demonstrate you our first iteration. As you can see here, this is the Gmail account. If I go to send, here you can see that it has just now one minute ago sent a mail digital whispers glow circuits thing where once was silence future soft hum so i think this is something related to a haiku that i have asked it now moving on to twitter if you can see here if i go to my profile this is the post that i have generated one minute back digital whispers grow so now it is automatically posting on my behalf on Twitter as well as on my Gmail account. And by the time it is waiting here. So this is a wait loop that I have added because once you start hitting the APIs continuously, you might get banned also. So you need to provide ample time. That is I'm keeping the loop at two, uh, just two as well as the wait time is for in this case is two minutes. But I think this should be way higher as you can see. This loop is not done. We are entering the second part of the loop. As you can see here, two has come in. So the second iteration has started. What prompt has been picked up? Let's check it out. So this time, this is the output that is coming. The major breakthrough in AI technology is likely to be the integration of advanced natural language, etc, etc. And this time also you can see that we have now posted a new uh, uh, Gmail blast as well as a new tweet so let's check it out again and as you can see this is a new mail that has been sent at 4 35 uh, one minute ago the, ne the next major breakthrough in ai technology is likely to be integration of advanced natural language processing with generative models etc etc 
so this is how as you can see now it is entering the third loop so it is waiting for two minutes by the time so not just gmail or x i think this is just for the sample purposes you can add on many social media accounts be it linkedin so this is a linkedin note that i've added you can add it like this you can even add notion i think in my previous tutorial i was mentioning i use notion append the block and in this way you can have a monster of a social media manager on your own so it will generate a post and it will be auto posting everywhere these are coming as red because you need to set up your credentials now once two loops are done it goes to the if statement here as you can see run index keeps a count of the loops that are running so once it goes over to eventually your loop stops so this is how you can create an entire social media poster for your behalf with just a click of a button now you can add more prompts you can add hundreds of prompts to pick up randomly you can use a more stronger llm in olama i'm using quen 2.5 just for demonstration purposes and on the right hand side as you can see you can add as many social media platforms as you wish to do add this particular loop and now this loop can run for infinite times for you keep a brief space like 30 minutes 40 minutes space so that you don't get banned by the api's holders you might get banned by twitter very easily one of my accounts got banned while testing this out so do keep the wait time a little higher about 20 30 minutes and now keep it on loop so eventually you are sleeping and on your behalf ai is posting on your social media maintaining it for you i hope this was very useful for you and you try to create such a workflow for yourself as well thank you so much